Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is my designated day off, so we are going to spend it drifting. But first, we have to get dressed. I cut my bangs this morning, and I think I'm finally getting better at it. If it's uneven, please disregard that. But I like to trim my bangs at home, so I don't have to go to a salon every like four weeks, but this is what it's looking like. If you didn't watch my Japan vlogs, you wouldn't have seen that the last time I got a haircut was in Tokyo and it's growing out really nicely. These are the Hime pieces that I got cut there, but I'm just trying to upkeep it for now. But I really like how the layers are growing out. It's nice and shaggy and super easy to maintain for every day, so I just hope my bangs look okay. Anyway. Let's pick an outfit. My partner and I are going thrifting today, so we're gonna hit a couple of different stores. And I think it's kind of hot today, so I wanna wear something a little bit cool. Should we say hi to Junie while she's sleeping? So tired, oh sweet girl. <laughs> She loves getting her chin scratched like this. Okay, we need to focus and get down to business. We need to change. So, I think I'm going to wear... This is always the hardest part for me. I have like a set couple of outfits that I really love wearing. But then I feel unoriginal because I always wear the same thing over and over. Okay, we're changing plans completely. I'm gonna wear this jumpsuit. And I'm gonna try and style it with these bloomers that I got from Japan. I like to wear these under like short dresses and stuff just because, you know, keep myself covered if the wind blows. Okay, I think I like this outfit. I haven't worn this in a while. Also, please excuse the pimple patches. I'm still healing some hormonal acne. But here's the outfit. This is a jumpsuit from Vanessa Mooney. Okay, lip combo today is Pinked by Seichu Beauty. It's a lip liner stain, but I just kind of fill in my whole lip with that lip stain. And then on top is the Rome and um, Glasting Melting Balm in the color Kaya Fig. I just got this actually. And look how pretty it is. I'm a sucker for like plum colors or like fig colors. Just something like purpley and deep. I really like that. Anyway, that's the lip combo for today. Also, I feel like this outfit would look really cute with a hat. I'm not gonna wear this hat, but how cute is it? I wore this to a protest on Sunday and it's like my favorite sun hat. Oh my gosh, maybe I do wear it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I don't know. Do I wear this? Let's go, let's go ask Will if I should wear this or not. I feel like I look like a witch. I'm coming to ask for your opinion on something. Should I wear this outfit with a sun hat? Yeah. Is it cute? Yeah. You look really cute. I feel like I look like a gardener. I wear my sun hat too. You wanna wear your sun hat too? Yeah. So we can match again? Yeah. Did you get this for me? Not technically, but we can share oh, it. Okay. I got it from work. These are from Sig Um and I got it from the company I used to work for. Okay, sun hat is coming with us. Maybe. Who knows if I'll take it off in the middle of the day. It's just so sunny. Oh my God. I really like how I did my makeup today too. Anyway, we gotta, we gotta get going. It's like 1 p.m. already and we're supposed to leave like this morning. But, oh, let's do, let's do scent of the day. I feel like that'll be fun as part of a getting, get ready with me. What am I feeling today? It's kind of hot and I don't really feel like wearing something heavy so i'm just gonna wear glossier you today something light something that you know doesn't have a ton of lasting power sometimes when i get really hot and i smell a scent on me i get i don't know 
I just don't want anything too heavy. I want something light. Also, that's probably not the proper way. Oh gosh, sorry, Junie. Not the proper way to spray on perfume. I probably used too much, but that's okay. Okay, final outfit. For a day of fun and thrifting. This is what I look like. Matching sun hats. We look cute. Viewing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks maxing. Before we leave, I'm gonna switch purses. Let's try it again. I have this little pouch that I impulse bought from TikTok shop, and inside of it I have wet ones. I have a floss mechanism that pushes floss out like that. Oh wait, that one's empty. Pushes floss out like that. Very nice for on the go. I have a little container full of lactate. I have tampons in here. I have two perfumes. I have a mini diptyque fleur du peau and the solid Glossier U balm. I probably shouldn't carry this in my purse because it's like a little rock. It's just heavy. Anyway, oh shoot. That's the first pouch going into the new purse. I have a tissue carrier that I got from Japan, very cute, hand sanitizer. I'm trying to scroll on my phone less and I saw a TikToker, I will put her at somewhere on the screen, that suggested carrying a sketchbook with you so anytime you feel like scrolling you just open up a sketchbook and draw. You don't have to be good at it but this is my attempt at drawing my little brother. It's not that good but... I'm hoping I'll get better the more I draw. This is my attempt at drawing our cats drinking boba. Just a fun little thing to do instead of scrolling on your phone. So with that, I have a little pen to sketch with. My wallet. What else? I have my film camera, which I've been really bad at taking out, but it's an Olympus XA. Love it. It's kind of heavy, kind of weighty, but I like it. I have the e.l.f. Uh, lip oil in Fig Jam. Love this one too. I have lots of spare napkins. I have throat Japanese throat lozenges. That's nice to keep in there. This one is yuzu flavored. They're just like little herb drop supplements that my cousin Kira introduced me to. So I just carry them around now. I have a little pouch from my friend Sierra's shop or her parents jewelry shop in Waikiki but she gave me this little pouch last time I saw her. Now this, this is all lip products that I need to clean out of my bag but I have the Benetint, I have another lip oil, I have um, Clinique Black Honey, I have the Rome and Nucadamia lip stain. I have the Laneige lip balm and another lip stain from Peripera in, I don't know what color this is in, but it's like a cute little pinky color. Too many lipsticks. I also have little hair clips in here that I just like to keep on me, but I honestly don't even use all of these on a daily basis, so maybe we need to trim that down just a little bit. We've arrived at our first location. We're going to thrift really quick before we lunch, but we're going to look around in this small thrift store and see what we can find. I am looking for, I'm always on the hunt for small leather goods. Um, We're looking else? for a chest set. A really, oh yeah. A really pretty Our one. dream is to get like a really heavy, like vintage chest set to keep at home. Just something like really pretty, maybe like super heavy wooden pieces on like a marble slab. Yep. Something from the olden days. That's the dream. <laughs> that is the dream. So we're just gonna look around for a little bit and see what we find. But 
Any any last thoughts? Final final thoughts before we exit the car? Yeah, good luck us. Good luck us. Pray for <laughs> us. Okay. with the first thrift store I didn't want to film too much in there because it's really small and just to respect people's space while I'm shopping around in there but we did pick up one thing we got this set of really beautiful blue porcelain bookmarks they look like that and this was $12 so there's one for Will one for me just nice nice very fancy bookmarks this will probably stay with us for a very long time exciting so now we are gonna go grab some lunch in Kaimuki and continue our lovely day off any thoughts yeah I'm freaking hungry me too let's go eat if Blazin Steaks has one fan it's Will if Blazin Steaks has zero fans Will is dead <laughs> Yeah, right. What I this is what I do. Mm -hmm. I start with the salad. Okay. So that I can make room for the mess I'm gonna make. So we have to eat all the salad first? No, you don't have to. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna solo the salad? No, no, no. no. I'm just saying, I'm gonna eat this half. Oh, and you can have that half. okay, okay. There's a method to this madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This area is very nostalgic because UH is right up the road from here. So while I was in college, I would come down to the street. I'm sure everyone did who went to UH. <laughs> Delicious. I can't get over how nice my skin looks under this foundation, aside from my pimple patches but so pretty it might also be the lighting though that's making my skin look really good anyway we just finished lunch it was delicious we shared a steak plate and demolished it and now we're heading to another surf store in Kaibuki and we're gonna get dessert and that's gonna be the rest of our day off then we're just gonna go home and relax but also what I was saying inside the restaurant is this area is really nostalgic to me because our university is right up the road. So I used to spend a lot of time down here, eat down here a lot of a lot of days, use my fake ID allegedly down here um, while I was at university. So very nostalgic area. <coughs> okay, second location. We are at, whoa, wrong thing. Second location, we are at a Goodwill in Kaimuki, and today at Goodwill we are hunting for... I want I black really pants. Know. You want bla more black I pants? I want more black pants, ideally white Uniqlo uh, tees. Plain white tees, by the way. I don't know what I want. I'm really not looking for anything in particular. I always love a good patterned pant. Uh, I would love a midi skirt of some sort. Small leather goods, anything along those lines. This Goodwill was just renovated also, so it's really nice in there. It's like all super brand new. And we've only been here once before and we found some pretty decent stuff. So I'm just gonna walk around, chill, and then see what happens. So fingers crossed. No luck at the Goodwill, unfortunately. Now we're going across the street to get Lihimoi Ices, which is my favorite treat to get from a crack seed store. And then we're gonna continue on our day. But yeah, Lihimoi Strawberry Icy is the best. Yeah? Good? 
It's the best. Oh fuck, that's good. One time I showed Will's friends from the mainland uh, Lee Himui strawberry icing and they said it was just okay. And I was offended. This is like my childhood. Oh my god, I have a brain freeze. Last stop of the day, we are going to TJ Maxx because I saw a TikTok showing that TJ Maxx was carrying some uh, bags that look like the free people woven tote bags. And I really want to see if our TJ Maxx has them too. So we're gonna run in real quick, come back out, and then go home. Okay, TJ Maxx was semi-successful because they did have the bag, but after looking at it for a little bit, I liked it less. So, moral of the story, we don't impulse shop anymore. We try it on and we we think critically. No more impulse shopping. Uh, but yeah, it was it was, a, it was a good bag. So if you're in the market for something of that size, it's like $40, so still a little bit expensive, but not for me, not for me. Not for me. to me how these two small little beings can cause absolute carnage in our apartment. This is just one night of them playing while we're sleeping. Also, Junie has gotten so big, I feel like I haven't really shown her <laughs> to scale in a while, but it's so fun to look back at old videos of her because she's just, she's huge now. Good morning, friends. It is Friday, and we are going to Punahou Carnival, which is a, how would you describe it? Like a fundraiser for a school? <laughs> yeah, for the island's, uh, one of the island's richest schools. <laughs> yeah, but they put it on every year. Um, it's held at the high school. They have carnival rides. They have carnival food. We are going specifically because there is like a thrifting situation that we didn't know about prior. Um, so we're going early. Uh, the thrift store is run by the high school parents who basically like compile all of their stuff during the year and then sell it at this like uh, fundraiser carnival for the school and we're excited because this is a private school and I think yes. parents have nice things oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go see what we can find oh, yeah. it's supposed to be very busy so I feel like finding parking is gonna be a struggle um, but I'm excited I love carnival food I love the food that they serve at this fundraiser too because it's a lot of local food I remember having Portuguese bean soup the last time I came yeah and they have malasadas um, they have like corn on the cob. Yeah, we definitely should, should eat. eat. Definitely. No. Uh, we'll uh, see how busy yeah, it we'll, is. We'll, we'll grind first. Cause I don't wanna. I don't wanna miss out on all the good. We'll grind the, good the, the thrift. Thrift. Shop. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm excited. I used to love going to Punahou Carnival and the Iwani Fair just cause I just love. I just love fair food, carnival food. I don't think we're gonna get on any rides today, but we're definitely gonna check out some good thrift and some good food. We're passing by UH now. Both of our alma mater, which is fun. The street is already so busy. But it's such a beautiful day. Hi UH, wow.
Wow, UH looks kind of pretty <laughs> from the street. Oh my gosh, this is a new building as part of UH. I think it's part of the business school. Look how freaking beautiful it is. That's crazy. That was not there when, that was definitely not there when we were in school. Imagine, imagine if that was there though. This is the business school I went to, Scheidler College of Business. Ah, uh, the nostalgia. But now we're trying to find parking. insanely long line and they were doing a ticketing system but by the time we got our tickets they weren't able to let us thrift until like 5 p.m today so we decided just to eat good food come back home and relax so after some time just rotting away on the couch recharging my battery i've decided that i'm gonna pick up a book and I'm currently finishing Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. I did a review of Ninth House on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you don't follow me on any of those platforms, feel free to do so. I do some short form content there as well, but I'm almost done with Hellbent, which is the second book in the series. I think I have about like 30 or 40 pages left. And what I will say about this series so far is that I definitely like the story better after reading the second book. I'm going to do a more in-depth talk about Ninth House and Hellbent in a later video, but I'm just going to sit on the couch, drink some tea, read a little bit, and spend the rest of my day relaxing. I'll make some sweets and tea, just like it used to be. 